This video takes us on the final leg of our epic four-part California coastal road trip. Since we're over five hours of driving to get home, we decide to spend one final night along the way. We leave Half Moon Bay, taking the coast through Santa Cruz, before turning inland at the artichoke center of the world, Castroville. We keep rolling south around the road closure in Big Sur, stopping for lunch in Paso Robles at Taste, where we try mini burgers with big flavor. Our scientific sampling method selects six different sliders, allowing us to determine that beef was still the king, followed very closely by Cubano pork. Two different versions of chicken were the weakest choice by some margin. Once that was finally settled, we had to walk off the effects of our research by circling around the town's central park. This seems like a nice place to spend some more time. <laughs> Afterwards, we continued south to connect with the scenic Route 46, over to the coast on our final night's destination, Cambria's Moonstone Beach. We stay at the Little Sur Inn, a cozy seaside retreat right across the street from the beach. We check in and tour our room, the smallest of our entire trip, which is fine since we're only here for one evening. It was very nicely appointed and had a spectacular ocean view with a wind-protected balcony. We head out to stroll along the boardwalk where we marveled at the wildlife and elaborate driftwood structures along the beach. There's a great laid-back beach vibe here, giving it a feel all its own. For dinner, we quickly scrapped our plan of eating next door to our hotel at the Sea Chest Oyster Bar, because being Friday night, people started lining up at three o'clock for their 5.30 first seating. Instead, we picked up a flatbread, salad, and a bottle of wine from Carolyn's at the beach. With sunset over the ocean from a balcony, it was the perfect final evening of our seven night adventure. All epic journeys must come to an end, so we decided to do a quick detour up north to marvel at the elephant seals just south of Piedras Blancas Lighthouse. You can't go to this area and not come and see the largest mainland rookery of the world's largest pinnipeds. Even when most of them are out at sea, there's still plenty of these magnificent creatures to see. Afterwards, we begin our three hour drive home, but not without one final hurrah at Firestone Walker Brewery in Buellton. Here we toast to this unforgettable week along California's coastline. We're pretty sure we'll find some sand in our shoes for months. In hindsight, there's nothing we would change about this trip, except go when the road through Big Sur is open, or even make the trip longer than a week. The lodge at Pebble Beach exceeded every expectation with its effortless luxury and charm. The Harbor House Inn really separated itself from the other Mendocino Coast lodges by its stunning location and inspired food. Half Moon Bay always surprises us by how many things there are to do while being so close to San Francisco, and the Ritz-Carlton was a wonderful place to stay. Finally, Cambria is always a special place to stay because of that relaxed vibe we've never found anywhere else in the world. If you want to cut costs by not staying in the very fanciest hotels along the route, we have several suggestions. In Monterey, we highly recommend the Monterey Bay Inn, right on the waterfront between the harbor and Cannery Road. Here you can walk to all the major attractions in town and have many choices of great places to eat. We always get a balcony room where we can admire the playful sea otters right below us. Along the Mendocino coast, you should consider staying in one of the many nice hotels and inns right in the town of Mendocino. Although missing the bucket list worthy food at the Harbor House Inn would be a disappointment. In Half Moon Bay, or more specifically El Granada, we recommend the Oceano Hotel and Spa, where you can get a beautiful ocean view room at the fraction of the cost of the Ritz. We really enjoy Los Castanera for a great Peruvian dinner and the press for a delicious breakfast. El Granada also enjoys easy access to the coastal trail and is even closer to the trails along the bluff at Pillar Point. Finally, there are many hotel options along Moonstone Beach in Cambria, so comparison shopping is quite easy. However, if you're looking for something closer to Big Sur, you should consider the Ragged Point Inn, about a half hour's drive north up the coast highway. This is a wonderful base to explore Big Sur's coast beaches and trails once the road reopens. If you have a week-long road trip that you would recommend, please leave a quick description in the comments below. We'd love to give it a try. Thanks for tagging along on this ultimate California coastal road trip. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and check out our other adventures. Until next time, thanks for watching.